This is Sam Gerstle. <laughs> With your weekend update! We are here to inform you on the issues emerging from technology and essentially social networking. What does technology mean to you? Well, Sam, technology means the future to me. I don't think that we could survive on a day to day basis without technology. Think about how many times a day you use technology, your cell phone maybe. It's almost as if it's a part of us these days. And um, technology really just means the future. It's, it's unlocking new, new possibilities and making our lives easier. Our standard living has increased and our needs have been met because of advances in technology. By applying technology, time-consuming tasks are made easier and are completed more efficiently. Technology has touched every aspect of life, making it easier, better, and different. Do you think you'd be able to live without technology? Um, I don't think so. Um, in today's world, um, all, most of the job markets today, and just unless you kind of want to live out in Alaska or something like that, I feel like you can't live without technology. Uh, or really be successful. Everyone's working on uh, uh, computers today. Everyone has all their files on uh, online. Even like my head class, we're starting to take all of our record books and we're putting them online now. So I couldn't even do that without a computer, or having the internet. So um, even jobs or uh, school or talking with friends, everything's becoming electronic, becoming electronized. That's not a word. Anyway, um, no, I don't think I can live without computers. It just wouldn't work for me. Thank you. One problem people are commonly faced with is privacy. What you post is public to anyone and is often difficult to delete once made known. Technology, although problematic, can also be beneficial. Technology not only connects networks of people around the world, but promotes the spread of cultures and ideas. It can reunite old friends and is important for means of communication. Do you think that technology is benefiting or hurting our society? It depends on the context of which we use technology. Um, I think for personal use, I think that it can benefit and hurt our society. It can benefit us in that it can connect us more to each other, but it can hurt us because it can also disconnect um, us from each other. Like how many times do you see kids sitting around a table or adults sitting around a table and every single one of them is staring at their phone and not talking to each other. Um, but I also think that technology helps to in like educational situations also. I think there's a lot of technology out there that um, in education that's really helping and, and benefiting um, education. So, yeah. At a young age, children are being exposed to profanity and inappropriateness due to technology. In addition, technology is distracting teenagers from reality, therefore causing them to be withdrawn from family and friends. According to the New York Times, the average kid spends seven and a half hours a day using technology. This most likely corresponds with the statistics that 16% of kids are OB. How frequently do you use technology? Um, usually on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, I use it to text my friends and family to get in touch with them and to see what's going on on social media with my homies. Okay, Jake, about how many hours do you use technology a day? <laughs> hey, people of San Diego. This is Jake Wigley. Hello? <laughs> On average, I'd say, like, say that when I go back to my house, I usually use technology quite a bit. Doing I'd say what? I use that technology right around three hours, three and a half hours. I use that technology every day. Okay. And also, that's all I have to say about that. <laughs> How are you today? I'm good, how are you? Good. About how many hours do you use technology? Um, like in a day or like in a week? A day. Okay. A day. Well, when I get home, I usually eat a snack first and then I eat, watch TV. I watch it for about an hour. I do my homework and then, um, then I go back to TV. So I would say about like... <laughs> 
I say about like three hours max. And if it's a good day, like four hours. But my mom will get mad at me, so three hours. And how many hours of technology do you use a day? Um, toughy. Toughy. Kind of varies day to day, depending on how I'm feeling. Mm -hmm. Side of the bed I wake up on, you know? Uh -huh. Um, it was anywhere between 3 and 17. <laughs> Maybe even 18. 18. It varies. That's what I'm trying to get at here. Most common social networking sites based on rank include Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and Tumblr. As these network sites have increasingly played an important role in society, we have seen multiple issues arise. Half of Teens have been victims of cyberbullying. One in three have received threats online in their lives. Teens say cruel behavior takes place on Twitter with 23.8%, Facebook with 92.6%, MySpace with 17.7%, Instant, Instant Messenger with 15.2%, and 65.8% of teens responded to the bully. 35% responding in person, 15.4% avoided school, and 4.5% have been in a physical fight with their bully. 25% of teens claim to be targets of cyberbullying, 2 out of 3 of all teens have witnessed cruel behavior online, and 10% of parents are aware their teens are targets of cyberbullying. Have you ever been cyberbullied? Yes. How did that make you feel? It was really devastating. It was a sad moment in my life, not, not the best. Paul, have you ever been cyberbullied before? Well, yeah. How? Mainly through text. How did that make you feel? Well, it made me feel pretty bad, but, you know, I took care of it, took care of it the responsible way. That's good. I ten times worse. Yes. Have you ever witnessed cyberbullying? And if you have, how did you handle it? Yes, uh, cyberbullying has been a huge issue uh, with technology. Technology is great, but unfortunately, with technology, it becomes a lot of other other issues and other problems. Um, with Instagram and chatting and blogs and all these different things that people have, even individual teachers have their own blogs and websites. Kids can get on those, and they. Uh, they can talk S, so to speak, uh, about each other. That typically doesn't happen, but you can. Um, and as, as, as some people think it's funny, some people take it the wrong way, some people feel it's very hurtful. Um, so you never know how when somebody types something out, whether it's a text, whether it's an email, um, it's really hard to describe exactly what the feelings are being conveyed instead of a person-to-person -person conversation. Um, getting back to the question at hand, which is uh, cyberbullying and how it's ha issued. Um, on a daily basis, unfortunately, here at the school, we deal with kids that uh, they go home after school and they're on the computer, and then somebody will hatefully say something about them, and that gets around, and uh, it's it's awful, and, and it's uh, it hurts kids' self-esteem, and it's a huge, huge problem. We try to control it by telling kids to do the right thing, but unfortunately, kids will not do the right thing. And uh, but cyberbullying is a huge issue. It's actually a topic that we've actually brought into the health curriculum from the district just because it's been such a huge issue and uh, again we, we've had the tolerant, the no tolerance policy of bullying just in general and now obviously it's gone to the, the next level which is obviously uh, not having a face to face conversation to tell somebody that they're ugly or you're fat or whatever it is but it's a lot easier to hide behind your computer and type it in uh, on the keyboard and you know your arms like the way from getting punched in the face or something happening to you or breaking your car when you can kind of hide behind a computer name or a screen so Cyberbullying is an issue. I, do, I mean, I don't really know what the answer is to solve it. Besides, hopefully, people are learning the lesson of how hateful it is and how bad it is on the other end. If you're the one that actually receives the cyberbullying, um, but I just really, really, really wish that people understood how how bad it is and try to stay away because the problem that we deal with a lot for that cyberbullying is youth suicide. Youth suicide is one of the highest rated uh, issues that we do have um, at the high school level, and a lot of them now are actually traced back to cyberbullying. So. Um, Again, as people understood that treat people with respect, it's the golden rule that your parents have taught you from day one. Treat people how you want to be treated, this wouldn't happen. So hopefully people can do the right thing. See, technology means the future. It's our party, we can say what we want. It's our party, we can love what we want. We can kiss who we want, we can screw what we want. It's our party, we can do what we want. It's our party, we can say what we want.
Southside party, we can love who we 